What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Jonathan Arizari and it is time to bring you guys another full day of eating video. I haven't made one of these in a while and I feel like I say this every single time I start making these videos, but I felt inspired to make another one today because it has been a long time. You know, the reason for me making these full day of eating video guys is just to be able to inspire you guys to eat healthy, you know, try different things, make a different variety of meals, I tend to typically eat pretty much the same thing all the time, so it does inspire me to create different things for you guys as well. This meal that I'm making for my first meal is gonna be something you've seen in the past, but hey, why not? I'm just gonna make it because like I said, it's my typical break fast. Right now, I'm still, I've been practicing rather some intermittent fasting, and this was something that I picked up while doing the Ramadan fast which I stuck to for two weeks. I really, really enjoyed it, so I've continued to do it. So right now it is about 6.50 p.m. and we're gonna finally break our fast. This isn't normal for me, rather. I tend to break the fast around 4 or 5 p.m., um, but I've been, I was driving around town all day. I had to literally drive an hour away from the house, stop in Dallas, go get a haircut, do all kinds of stuff, so I finally made it back home. But I did get my training in, I did get some cardio in, so that's all knocked out of the way and this video is going to be solely discussing and breaking down and cooking for you guys let's get started cooking and i'm going to show you guys meal number one for today first thing you're going to need guys is a scale when it comes to tracking your macros because we have to be able to weigh out the foods we have my bowl we're going to make a bowl of oatmeal i'm going to add a banana i'm going to add some blueberries in there we're also going to toss in some professor nuts peanut butter this stuff is fire by the way um, I'm going to add in a scoop and a half of Leica Pro Whey Isolate, peanut butter cookie flavor, and then once it's all prepared, I do like to add a dash of almond milk in there as well. First thing we want to do is zero out the scale. We're going to go ahead and add in 80 grams of oats. Alright, so we've got 80 grams. Let's add a little bit of salt in there cup and a half of water and we're gonna throw it in the microwave for a minute and a half this is a consistency I like to have for the oatmeal so it's not like super thick but it's also not super watery once again we're gonna use the scale since I'm not just since I'm doing more than one scoop we're gonna go a scoop and a half and measure out 45 grams So you see the consistency of the oatmeal. It's nice and thick. You got the protein added in there. So now we're gonna add the fresh sliced bananas. I'm just gonna toss that in. This was uh, about 120 grams. Now it's time for the blueberries. So we got 50 grams of blueberries. And last but not least, 30 grams of Professor Nuts peanut butter. I'm just gonna add a quick drop of almond milk. Then we're gonna to top it off with a little bit of cinnamon on top. So we got our sexy bowl of oats here. Protein oats, I guess is what we're gonna call it, proats. Let's get a little bit of everything in there. So we got some peanut butter, we got some banana, we got a blueberry. We got peanut butter cookie from Like a Pro. Phenomenal. All right, so one more bite for you guys and then we're gonna sit down and enjoy this thing. Mm, 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 mm. Show you guys how to easily prepare it. It's something you can do at home. Do it on the fly. See how simple this meal is. But guys, it's time for me to sit down and enjoy the meal and I will be back for meal number two. All right guys, so we're now back for meal number two. It is 9.25 in the evening, so it's a little late, but I'm feeling good, I'm ready to eat. So let's go ahead and show you guys what is going to be inside the meal and let's fix it, so let's go. So we have one and a half cups of egg whites, five whole eggs right here, pre-scrambled. Went ahead and did that ahead of time so that way I can just get it done. We're gonna add some organic corn tortillas. So we're gonna do some tacos and then we're gonna go ahead and add some mushrooms and onions. This is already chopped up. And then additional carbohydrates, we have two car car oranges, absolutely phenomenal. And then we're gonna to top each of these tacos off with a little bit of Mexican blend cheese. So let's get started. The stove is hot. 
So let's go. Just so you know, before anyone asks, we did spray a little bit of olive oil spray in here. So now let's go ahead and take the chopped onions. Saute them. White mushrooms. We'll add a little bit of salt. We're simply gonna just cook this down and soften up the vegetables before we apply the eggs. Now it's time for the eggs. That's a lot of eggs. Okay, so we have the scrambled eggs, the mushrooms, the onions. I forgot to mention guys, we have this jalapeno cream sauce. This is made with jalapenos, sour cream, and a little, uh, little bit of chicken bouillon. If you guys don't know what that is, it is the little square uh, flavor, chicken flavor, that you would use for soups and different things. We should probably add this to another video and show you guys how we made it, because it is absolutely phenomenal. Freaking fire. All right, so we have our Corn tortillas here, ready to be devoured. So simple, just a breakfast taco. We added the cheese on top. Just like that. And then we're gonna take some of this sauce. Just mix it in there. Oh, I need a spoon, it might be a lot better. Let's dive in, give this bad boy a try. Mm -hmm. That's the one thing about corn tortillas, they do tend to break a little bit. Probably would have been better if I steamed it. Mm -mm -mm. But they're the ones that are gonna give you that authentic Mexican taste and it's just really good. Really, really good. Next up, I'm just gonna give you give this kind of like a little taste. These are the car car oranges. Mm. They're currently in season. Probably one of the best oranges that I've tried next to the Sumo Mandarins. The Sumo Mandarins are probably my number one just because they're so good and so easy to eat. These are definitely number two, fire. Before I finish this meal, I wanna show you guys the macro. So we're gonna show you right here on the screen. Um, we're looking at 108 grams of carbs, 78 grams of protein, and 26 grams of fat for this meal. So we have one more meal left to meet our total macro needs for the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this first and we'll be back for the last meal here shortly. Okay guys, so we're back for the last and final meal. So it is about 11 o'clock at night and I am ready to finish off this food so that I can head to bed soon after this. But guys, let's go ahead and show you guys what it is that I'm preparing and let's go ahead and put it together. Okay, so we're gonna make some protein pancakes. So this was a mixture that I picked up over at Sprouts mm, about a few weeks ago. So we have two servings inside this bowl. Show you guys the macros for this powder. So we got 122 grams. So this is one serving. We have three ounces of egg whites here. We're gonna mix in to the bowl. And then we need to go ahead and add some additional water in as well. I did mix in one scoop of protein powder in here, some whey protein powder. So we want this to kind of just thicken up and then we're gonna apply it into the pan that we have over here. So let's go ahead, turn the burner on. We're gonna make sure it stays on hot until this gets to the temperature that we want it. And then on top of that, we have 220 grams of chicken that we're gonna throw into the air fryer, pre-seasoned. So for this, we'll do 360 at 12 minutes and then just keep that going for now. We're gonna add one banana in there. So I'm just gonna take that, kinda just mash it in. So this is gonna make a couple pancakes. Bring down the heat. Do 
one, and then make the other. tablespoons of Professor Nuts peanut butter. Just kind of smear that over. And lastly, a little bit of sugar-free syrup. All right, so now we're at the table to eat the last meal. So we have the chicken breast here that was pre-seasoned. Absolutely phenomenal. We have our double stack protein pancakes here with a little bit of Professor Nuts peanut butter. Let's dive in, get a little bit of the syrup in there. Mm. That banana in there is freaking fire. Just adds some great flavor. The peanut butter protein that's also added inside the mix as well. Uh, give you guys the macros for this meal. We're looking at 102 grams of carbs, 116 grams of protein, and nine grams of fat. So in total for the day, we are looking at 301 grams of carbs, 250 grams of protein, 41 grams of fat. I'm short nine grams of fat for the day, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I'll just be able to make that up tomorrow with something else. Uh, but yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and finish up this meal. These pancakes are freaking huge. This might take me a while. But I love the mixture of the peanut butter in there. But I hope you guys uh, learned a little bit something. See that we can, you know, basically put together different different meals uh, throughout the day. Uh, just try different things. You know, if with each, each additional video that I put out, I will try to implement something different within the video as far as the food is concerned. Uh, because I do want to be able to teach you guys how to track your macros and you know kind of just have fun with your food because at the end of the day if it's not fun it's not sustainable you're not going to enjoy it and you will end up quitting so i don't want you to quit i want you to keep fighting hard for your goals keep getting after it whether it be putting on muscle whether it be cutting down body fat you know these are things that we want to be able to do because again long-term sustainability is key but guys i'm going to finish this meal hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up if you're new to the channel and you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell. That way you guys are notified each and every time that I release a video on this channel. And until next time, peace out.